James O'Brien, like many of us, is appalled by Jeremy Clarkson's breathtaking fake apology to Harry for his vile comments about Meghan Markle. They continue to dehumanize, mistreat, abuse Harry, and especially Meghan Markle. However, my family, it is quite hypocritical that Jeremy Clarkson wondered why Harry and Meghan were doing interviews on TV. It is so hypocritical that Jeremy Clarkson was upset about, is upset about Harry and Meghan doing interviews, calling out the hate they receive from the likes of Jeremy Clarkson. My family, please hear what James O'Brien had to say about this, please. My family, I should be able to hear this. Mr. Clarkson wrote solely to Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Sorry, what, pardon? Excusez-moi? On December the 25th, 2022, Mr. Clarkson wrote solely to Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. The contents of his correspondence were marked private and confidential. Because nothing says public apology like private and confidential. While a new public apology has been issued today by Mr. Clarkson, what remains to be addressed is his long-standing pattern of writing articles that spread hate, rhetoric, dangerous conspiracy theories and misogyny. Unless each of his other pieces were also written, quote, in a hurry, end quote, as he states, it is clear that this is not an isolated incident shared in haste, but rather a series of articles shared in hate. I like that last line. Just, just as, a, as a wordsmith, all right, as a considerably less successful author, than Prince Harry. <laughs> I love that last line, shared in hate, haste rather than um, shared in haste, but rather a series of articles shared in hate. And that is that out of all of it. Listen, I know it's not worse than comparing her to a serial killer and then boasting about he can't possibly be a misogynist because Jody Kidd once drove a car fast on his old television programme. But if someone insulted my wife and then wrote to me instead of her, I, I can't even begin to think how I'd never mind how she'd respond. I can't even begin to think how. Could you imagine? I mean, Sheila and I don't present a show together, so she, you know, in, in the way that you and Nikki Campbell were once like a, a radio husband and wife team. radio spouses. Imagine mm. if someone had insulted Sheila Fogarty and then written to Nikki Campbell about it. <laughs> Back in the days, oh, I was on your show the other day, and uh, I, I'm very sorry for how rude it's, I was to the woman. It's astounding. It's breathtaking. It's medieval. It's, well, I was going to say Victorian, but you've gone further. <laughs> Literally, about <laughs> 800 years further. Exactly. And that is how the man's mind works. It also then emerged... My family, the whole world is united. That Jeremy Clarkson made vile, disgusting evil, cruel comments, hate comments targeted at Meghan Markle. And yet he calls, sending an email to Prince Harry, an apology, instead of sending an email or even calling Meghan Markle and saying, I'm sorry, Meghan Markle. He couldn't even do that. Jeremy Clarkson could not do that because he is not sorry. My family, he is not sorry. And my family, first of all, I'm glad that people see, you know, his comments that he calls an apology as being absurd, really. That how can you apologize to someone and then you're sending an email to the person's husband instead of the woman, Meghan Markle, whom you abused. It's absurd, really. It's absurd. And you're constantly showing your disrespect of Meghan Markle time and time again. Make no mistake, this is Camilla's friend. Camilla, the Queen Consort's friend. I will never ever stop saying it that right after Jeremy Clarkson attended a party with Camilla the Queen Consort, he then proceeded to write disgusting, vile 
comments inciting violence against Meghan Markle. I won't stop saying that. I won't. Camilla is responsible for what has happened. Make no mistake about that. My family, please continue hearing this kindly. My family. Of course, that animal was once like a uh, radio, radio spouses. Imagine mm. if someone had insulted Sheila Fogarty and then written to Nikki Campbell about it. <laughs> Back in the days, oh, I was on your show the other day, and uh, I, I'm very sorry for how it's, rude I was to the woman. It's astounding. It's breathtaking. It's medieval. It's, well, I was going to say Victorian, but you've gone further. <laughs> Literally, about <laughs> 800 years further. Exactly. And that is how the man's mind works. It also then emerged, of course, that Amazon was poised to call time on a couple of his television entertainments, which means he's presumably terrified that he's going to lose the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire gig as well. Because, and of course, remember, it's not about the money. He's set up for life. It's about status. It's always about status with these people. It's always about self-regard. It's always about how they are able to see themselves. If you're not on the telly anymore, then your ability to, to convince yourself that everything's going swimmingly and you're not a sort of frightened little bully, it just begins to dissipate. It begins, begins to dilute. And, and I say that with a degree of sympathy because it's nothing therapy can't fix. But there it is. Out of all of these astonishing revelations of Jeremy Clarkson's character, uh, including up to and including the condemnation from his own daughter, the idea that you write to the husband after you have publicly abused and maligned the wife in the worst imaginable way is, is truly off the scale. Mr Clarkson wrote solely to Prince Harry the Duke of Sussex and remember by his own account in that letter, he's let us know that he, he, he decided to share the fact that he didn't really understand what they'd been talking about on the television either. So not only has he not written to the woman that he abused, he's also taken the opportunity of writing to the husband of the woman that he abused to presumably apologise for abusing the woman. He's taken the opportunity to reveal that he doesn't really approve of their uh, accounts on television of how appallingly they're treated by the British media. So a senior member of the British media who has roundly and disgustingly abused Meghan Markle writes to Meghan Markle's husband to say sorry for abusing Meghan Markle while also revealing that he doesn't really understand what it is they've been saying about how appallingly they've been treated by the British media. I'll tell you what, if this was an episode of Succession and one of Logan Roy's top columnists had done what Jeremy Clarkson has done over the course of the last month, because it took him a month to do the public apology, which isn't really an apology at all, the script editors would send it back. They say, don't be ridiculous, no, nobody's that backwards. You've heard that strong words from James O'Brien, but true words from James O'Brien once again. I love his logic. He says that Jeremy Clarkson, he has money. He is set for life. He has millions already in the bank. So what is this about him for him? It's about status. Status, you know? Perhaps that's why they caught members of the royal family so much. Maybe hoping that they'll get to be knighted or be called a lord or sir Jeremy Clarkson or lord Jeremy Clarkson because of those titles that they want so badly. And they feel like maybe if we do what the farm wants us to do, because make no mistake, this abuse of Meghan Markle is sanctioned by the royal family, by Charles, by William, by Camilla, by Kim Milton. Make no mistake about that. Everything comes from them, as well as the UK tablet press. And even the tablets themselves have said it. The leaks against Harry and Meghan are coming from the royal family and staff of the royal family and Kensington Palace headed by Prince William and Kim Milton. Everybody said it. Everybody has said it. Every single person has said it. Everyone. My family. Everyone. So my family, imagine writing an email to Harry saying that, listen, I abused your wife because I didn't like you know, what you are saying on interviews about our precious royal family. And then you confirm exactly, you know, why Harry and Meghan are doing those interviews to call out the hate campaign against them. We saw Meghan Markle begging for her life, telling these people that you are making people, and I quote Meghan's words, you are making people want to kill me. Meghan said that in the Harry and Meghan documentary. This is not a game. This is real life. And you're doing this for what? Because you're bored? Because you want to sell, you know, papers? You want to get clickbait? Megan begged and 
pleaded for her life. And then Jeremy Clarkson confirms everything that Harry and Meghan are saying through those interviews that he complains about, that Jeremy Clarkson complains about to Harry. You just confirmed him. You just confirmed to Harry and Meghan why they are doing those interviews. The need for those interviews. But your hateful rhetoric inciting violence against Meghan Markle right after Meghan pleads for her life. My family. Right after Meghan pleads for her life. Because maybe Clarkson wants to be a knight or wants to be, you know, a lord. Wants the title. Maybe that's why. No wonder he's quoting the Queen Consort so much. Maybe hoping that he can get that from the Queen Consort. And to please her, they're inciting hate against Meghan Markle to please her and, you know, the rest of the members of her family. My family, what happened was so, so vile. You know, I can't even emphasize even more and I already have, that what happened was vile. My family and Megan did not deserve what, what happened. And please, even here in GMB, what happened at Good Morning Britain, you know, when they talked about this issue, saying that, you know, the Sussexes reject Clarkson's apology because it wasn't even an apology. Listen, it was not an apology. It wasn't. It wasn't an apology by Harry and Meghan's response clearly it all but confirmed he was not apologizing my family please kindly hear this please well, they emailed everyone saying how sorry I am and then on Christmas morning I emailed Harry and Meghan in California to apologize to them too really Christmas and, and was that appropriate yeah, that's what they want it wasn't that's yeah, what, they, what wanted they wanted for Christmas that was a Christmas where, did get, card? where did you get their email address from I was profoundly yeah, sorry he yeah, said well this, they've said it's not good enough it's like a form of bias where did he get Harry and Meghan's email from where did he get Prince Harry's email from I mean the only person past that may give or have access to that kind of information is Camilla, the Queen Consort. Members of the royal family probably are the ones who have, you know, Prince Harry's email. So could he have gotten it from Camilla, the Queen Consort? Could he? And the same same guy, my family, said that he wished everyone a Merry Christmas except Meghan Markle. And then proceeds to write you know, an email addressed to Harry on Christmas. My family, Christmas is a happy time. A time of joy and happiness. General Clarkson wrote that email specifically on Christmas. He wrote that on Christmas because he did not want Harry and Meghan to enjoy their Christmas. That is why he did what he did. He wanted to anger Harry and Meghan on Christmas Day. A day of happiness. A day of joy. Merry Christmas. A day of happiness. He wanted to piss off Harry and Meghan. I mean, why else could he pick any other day? He had to pick Christmas to post, to write an email to Prince Harry. Not even addressed to Meghan Markle, to Harry. After abusing Meghan Markle. It's Meghan who was abused. But then he addressed an email to Harry. Then calls it an apology. It's disgusting really. It's disgusting. It's disgusting really. It's so, so disgusting what Jeremy Clarkson did. This person deserves to be cancelled. You know? By companies. Streaming sites. Any person who works with this person must cancel this person really. They must. They must. You know? What he has done to Meghan Markle you don't do to another human being. You don't do to another human being. My family. But again, a racist will never ever see a person of color as a human being. And that's why they feel so... So, they're okay with dehumanizing Meghan Markle time and time again because they know they'll get away with it. But this time, the backlash has been too much even for Jeremy Clarkson. My family. My family... I love that karma 
is striking at the right place. You know, Jeremy Clarkson. There needs to be accountability for this kind of rhetoric. There needs to be accountability for this kind of rhetoric. It has no place in our society. It has no place, my family. It has no place. And it isn't just a one-time thing. It's a, something that is done many, many times. So clearly, my family, he meant every word that he said. And he must answer for his actions. He must, really. Please continue hearing what was said on Good Morning Britain, Britain, please, my family. It's remorse, isn't it? And a dress film. I was profoundly sorry, he no, says. Well, this... they've said it's not good enough. It's like a form of buyer's remorse, isn't it? It's because I don't think his column has appeared in The Sun, has it? I may be wrong on this. Well, this, this column has been withdrawn yeah. from... Um, look, from yeah. look, look what, what is this about? This is a, this is a self-serving grovel yeah. because Amazon That's are going right. to drop him in future. Well, and he's worried, he's worried ITV are going to dump him from who wants to be a millionaire. It's all about him. First of all, he writes about her in a grotesque way. Then he sends it to her husband. And as they quite rightly point out, mm. that he's written nauseous, poisonous, vile, odious, toxic pieces about so many. Were well, they all in a hurry too? Now, uh, OK, so, that, so that's what they've said in response. The one thing I would say to that is... If you apologise for something, mm. should that apology be accepted in good faith? Or is it, in the, as in this case, do you have to apologise for everything else that you've ever done in order for your apology for one thing why to is be he, accepted? Why, why is he apologised now? He's apologised now because he's threatened financially. That's why he's, he's threatened. He regularly punches down on people well, he who apologize. can't fight back. Mm. He's gone here for a target bigger than him who've come back. Yeah. So he's now he's now grovelling and shedding but crocodile you, you tears. Doubt he did apologise. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, the timing of his apology, Terry Megan, was ridiculous Christmas Day, but we didn't know he'd apologise privately. That, I think, is something. However, the wretched column should never have been put in a newspaper in the first should place. Should never have been written. It, it was a shameful God, piece of work. My family, that column was shameful. And should never ever have been written. Even people that I don't like are saying that. People I don't even like are saying that. My family. People that I don't even like are saying that. My family, what happened was wrong. And this is consistent abuse of Meghan Markle. I mean... Why would you send an email to someone whom you abused on the day of Christmas, on Christmas, right after also, you know, writing, you know, an article saying that you wish everyone a Merry Christmas except Meghan Markle. And then you send an email to Meghan Markle. No, sorry, not to Meghan Markle, to Prince Harry, Meghan's husband, to Prince Harry, addressed to Harry, marked as private and confidential. You send an email to Prince Harry and not the woman you abused. Not his black wife, Megan. My family. And this person, Jeremy Clarkson, has got a history of calling for the N-word. For those who say it has nothing to do with race. He has a history of calling people the N-word. My family. That's what he has been doing. For those who say it has nothing to do with the race, because I know that there are some people who are going to say that it has nothing to do with the race, then what is it? What did Meghan Markle do? Talk about the interviews, like what Jeremy Clarkson is saying. Essentially, what Harry and Meghan have said about the hate campaign they get has been confirmed. What Harry and Meghan have done is condemn the abuse they've endured at the hands of the media. And Clarkson confirmed it. Confirmed it, what Harry and Meghan said. If you're abused, you know, you must call it out. You must call it out. You know? And my family, it's sad really that in the UK, this person will be platformed in the UK. It's sad really. But I'm glad that American companies won't tolerate those kinds of vile, disgusting rhetorics. You know, that... I'm very happy and I'm also very much thankful 
about my family. My family, please also hear what happened in the BBC. What they had to say about this because many media outlets reporting and covering what just happened. They're calling it a Jeremy Clarkson apology. Please, please, please. First of all, it's not an apology. Where did he say, I'm sorry, Meghan Markle? And from Harry, Harry's own response, he did not address Meghan Markle in his so-called apology. It's Meghan was abused in that article. Very, very, you know, badly abused. The mother of Harry's kids was badly abused. My family, where did he say, I'm sorry, Meghan Markle? I'm sorry, Meghan Markle. As a matter of fact, he lied. He lied in his statement. He lied. So, that already tells you he isn't sorry. My family, it seems that some people, to get an acquired fame in the UK, somehow you need to trash Meghan Markle to get notoriety, to get fame. From Piers Morgan, Jeremy Clarkson, it seems that there's a pattern, really. For to get fame, clickbait, ratings, somehow you only get to get those ratings by attacking Meghan Markle in the UK. You know, the same kind of, you know, hate for profit that Harry was talking about that exists in the tabloid press, in this UK media, they sell hate for profit. And if they're truly sorry for their vile commentary on Harry and Meghan, then even Good Morning Britain itself will never tolerate or entertain abuse towards Meghan Markle on its on Good Morning Britain. Will that happen? I don't think so. Will that happen? I don't think so. I don't see it. My family. My family. I'm just so angry and upset really about what everything that Megan has had to go through at the hands of these people. I'm sad. I'm upset. I'm angry. But I'm glad that people are condemning this abuse. That's, you know, one thing to take away from everything that is happening. People are condemning that abuse from Jeremy Clarkson and that gives me really really much hope please hear what was said on BBC about Jeremy Clarkson please I should be able to hear what was said on, B magazine. B on BBC news please hear this kindly magazine there is a report that Amazon Prime Video have decided to after these two series are over, so it won't be till 2024. They've decided, according to Variety, that uh, Jeremy Clarkson will no longer appear on Amazon. So that is obviously a very big story. If it's true, we've reached out to Amazon and we don't yet know whether it is. But the background to this is this column that he wrote for The Sun. Absolutely. I mean, ironically, exactly a month ago today, this column appeared in The Sun newspaper, uh, in which he said, as you said, you know, he talked about his hatred of Meghan Markle. He talked about wanting to see her, you know, paraded through the streets and having excrement thrown at her, which he said was a reference to Game of Thrones, although he didn't talk about Game of Thrones in the programme. I mean, in, in, the, in the column, he also compared her to Rose West, the serial killer. It is a column that has received the highest number of complaints the press regulator has ever received. I, I was in contact with them just a few days ago and it was back up, it was up to 25,000. And they are investigating whether he could and should have published that and indeed whether The Sun should have let it through. Now, it's worth saying that at the time, The Sun apologised almost immediately afterwards. He also made some sort of an apology back then and The Sun said they'd taken it out of their archives, they removed it from the website they uh, accepted that it was an error to publish that. And now Jeremy Clarkson has issued a, an apology and he's put some of those his comments on social media. He has. I mean, it's an Instagram post that seems to run to uh, six pages on Instagram. And uh, in it, he says that he is very, very sorry. He says, I really am sorry. This is me putting my hands up. He says, I'm just not sexist and I abhor violence against women. So it's very upsetting to be accused of it. As you said at the top, he says that he reached out to Harry, Prince Harry and Meghan on Christmas Day, he said he emailed them to apologise. Now, that's interesting because, obviously, since then, uh, Prince Harry's doing, been doing publicity for his book, Spare, and he did an interview with ITV with Tom Bradley in which he referenced the column by Jeremy Clarkson and said, you see, it proved our point. The press are bigoted. They are racist. They are sexist. Clearly, Jeremy Clarkson said he is. My family, you've heard the point of view from the BBC News, my family. Everyone... 
is talking about this what is happening my family apparently this so-called press regulator ipso <laughs> which never does anything will have to rule on whether jeremy clarkson's column in rupert Murdoch's son broke any rules lord fox who oversees the press regulator who was due to have dinner tonight you know a couple of weeks ago at night you know back then with Rupert Murdoch at his Mayfair flat. So my family, really, you can't expect any justice from this case of people. You can't expect, expect accountability from this case of people. You can't expect accountability from them. You can't. You can't really. You can't really. Everyone is, everyone is in bed with Rupert Murdoch. Everyone doesn't want to go, you know, face the ire, the anger of Rupert Murdoch. My family, while he's tabloid, in the in the UK, the sun, you know, abused Meghan Markle so so badly, so so badly, you know, and to the United States of America in the US, really. This person owns Fox News, really. This person owns Fox News. Everywhere he goes, every media outlet that he opens, he spreads poison. Everywhere he goes. He spreads poison. My family. That's what Rupert Murdoch does. It's sad what this person has been able to, to do. No country in the world, Russia, China, has ever been able to, to cause harm to Western democracy than what Rupert Murdoch has been able to successfully achieve. To achieve in the US, just like he's done in the UK. Murdoch picks. Prime Ministers in the UK. If you want to become a Prime Minister, you need to speak to Rupert Murdoch. And he wants the same thing in the US. My family, power, power, power. He wants the same thing in the US. Protect your democracy in America from this person, Rupert Murdoch. Protect your democracy from Rupert Murdoch. And my family, now someone, you know, said this, that racists don't like to be called racists. Most prefer to sidestep in order to continue to being racist. It's a choice, you know, it's illogical, ignorant, and a harmful mindset. But it's not in a person's DNA. It's a choice, full stop. For those who say that it has nothing to do with race. Clarkson said he wasn't sexist. He didn't deny he was racist or bigoted because he has been caught out using the N-word frequently. And Megan spoke about this even in the piece for, what's it called? The cover that Megan Markle did, you know, in which he said that, you know, why would I give a photo? Of my son to people who call him the N word. Jeremy Clarkson, you know, has had a history in his past, you know, using the N word towards people of color. So clearly, my family, this person may not want me to call him a racist, but he is a racist. That's who he is, my family. And it's sad that in the UK, you get a platform when you are a racist. Sadly, my family, sadly, that is what happens in the UK. My family, for Harry and Meghan, may they always stay strong. We stand and support Harry and Meghan. We love them so, so much. What they've endured, no one should ever have to, have to go through one bit. And I do hope that they keep on healing. And I hope that Jeremy Clarkson's disgusting email that he calls a fake apology or an apology. I hope it did not ruin Harry and Meghan's Christmas because that is what he wanted. That is what he said he wanted for, for Meghan Markle not to have a great Christmas, a Merry Christmas. He said that in an article he wrote for the Times. So my family, my wish and my hope is that his email did not ruin Prince Harry and Meghan's Christmas. 
and that Harry, Megan, Archie, and Libertana had a great Merry Merry Christmas. They had fun together as a family. They danced, you know, overjoyed, happy, dancing, singing together as a family, loving each other as a family. I hope that Jeremy Clarkson did not ruin that. And I believe he did not ruin that. You know, I want to believe that. He did not ruin Harry Megan's Christmas. My family, now I want your opinion, my family. But first of all, let me say this, that hate will never win. Love wins. Hate never ever wins, my family. I'm pleased with that and so much more. Stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support or ever can find me on YouTube. And kindly please stay tuned to our next video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipidana, and Dory Raglan. And please stay tuned to our next video. You know, my family, I recall what Charles said about Meghan Markle. We're telling Harry not to bring Meghan Markle to Balmoro. He was saying abusive words about Meghan Markle. And then Harry said that, don't ever talk that way about my wife, Meghan. Harry defended his wife, Meghan Markle, the mother of his children. And I admire that what Harry did for his wife and kids. I admire that 100%. And my family, I'm just really sad that Charles, hypocritically, went on TV to call Harry and Meghan much-loved members of the royal family. When I was earlier, previously, he was basically abusing Meghan Markle in a phone call to Prince Harry, telling Harry not to come with Meghan to Balmoro. My family, it's so disgraceful, really. It's so disgraceful. But I'm glad that once again, Harry stood up for his wife. I'm glad about that. And you see this, this hatred for Meghan, where it comes from. It comes from senior members of the family, from Charles to Camilla to, to William to Key Milton. And it's fed, that hate is fed to the tabloid press. And they're happy to consume it to make money. My family, it's sad, really. But may Megan always just be happy. That's my wish for her. That she's happy. She and Harry. And Archie and Lipetana. And to continue healing from this, from this abuse. My family, now I want your opinion, please. On what I've been said. Kindly stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipetana, and Dora and please stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.